Mm, guys, Cypher did something. Mm hmm. Naughty, naughty, naughty. Mabu High Squad. You won't believe what Cypher did. Check it out. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Cypher destroyed not one cord, but two cords. We've lost a total of three charger cables now to Cypher's chewing. We did get protection, but see like we were waiting for more of these protectors because there was a part that still was unprotected and that's the part that Cypher chewed. <laughs> But these protectors are very effective. So not only are we going to buy more uh, chargers, we're also going to buy more protectors. Oh uh, well, life of having a puppy. And it is our fault, not Cypher's. OMG guys, you won't believe what just arrived. Wow, it's been forever. Guys, if you're new to these vlogs, if you're new to the Philippines, I'd like to introduce you to the awesome one and only Jollibee. OMG! It's been forever! We had this ordered in. Guys, Jollibee is like the biggest fast food chain in the Philippines. But they have branches all over the world. So maybe Google and check to see if you have a Jollibee in your city. Toronto has three Jollibees. And they're most famous for their chicken. It's called Chicken Joy. Ah! And guess who's an endorser? <laughs> Last year, we signed an endorsement deal with Jollibee. Um, and it was an awesome, awesome commercial we filmed um, alongside two chefs, Chef JP and Chef Jordan and Dino. Oh my gosh, mm, I missed this. RJ's cooking is so good. It's delicious every day. But I've also missed this, like <laughs> normal fried chicken. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh yeah, mmm. Oh my gosh, mmm. So good. I missed the gravy. Mm. This one, guys, is the spicy. Have any of you guys had Jolly Bee? Trust me, guys, so good. Not only because I'm an endorser, I've been a fan of Jolly Bee since I first landed in the Philippines as an adult. Ask any Filipino about Jolly Bee, they know this. I've missed this. Then, guys, to top it all off, peach mango pie with ice cream. Oh, ho, ho, ho. the best. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my gosh, guys. Mmm, so good. The peach mango pie with the ice cream goes so well together. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, I love Jolly Bee. Mm. Okay, Cypher. So you stop chewing on things, which I know you won't do. We bought you something that you can chew on. Something new that you've never had before. This here is what we call an antler. Yes, this is for you. It's an antler. Chew on it. Go. Satisfy your chewing instincts. So we ordered this antler online. And I, have, I believe it's an actual like antler from a deer. An elk or something. Um, and it's for chewing. I never had this growing up with my dogs. I didn't know that chewing antlers was a thing, but I guess it is now. So we bought one to see if uh, Cypher would like it, but <laughs> right now he doesn't know what to make of it. Yes, yeah, Cypher, that, that's for you. I think he likes it. I think he likes it too, yeah. He's just like <laughs> unsure. Yes, this is for you, Cypher. <laughs> Dory, go get it. He's so wary of it. Bring it to your uh, bed. Go ahead, Cypher, go. It's for you. Enjoy, enjoy my werewolf. No, no. On your bone like bonar. So guys, I wanted to show you an update on the tank. Look at how beautiful and lush. But look, I gave it a haircut. So what I did was I cut some of the kabomba and I transplanted it to the left side because all of it was starting to lean this way. And here's why. I've got a new filter. It's called a CO2 reactor. It was like this big like cylindrical thing way at the back. Um, well, I removed it because I got a new filter and the new CO2 reactor is way down here. See it? See it turning? And there's the tube. So now the CO2 reactor happens here, where it basically mixes the CO2 with the water, and then it pushes it out. And guys, look, this new filter is so powerful. It pushes so many bubbles this way. Like the bubbles now go all the way out here. It's crazy. Oh, the bubbles are turned off because it's two hours before the lights go off. But anyways, during the day, you see all these micro bubbles travel all the way to this end. So now these plants here, which were kind of low on CO2 are now getting a lot. And you can see, like, look at the plants on this side. They're really blooming more than before. 
it's really awesome and so this new filter which is down here is so powerful and it's super awesome because it has an ultraviolet bulb in it which kills like bacteria and viruses and stuff really awesome so yeah I've basically upgraded the tank and the plants are loving this newly added filtration they're loving high carbon dioxide content and I'm personally loving that there's a space here now please don't mind this green too I still have to bend it and out of the way but I'm really happy with the tank the way it is now. It took a good 45 minutes to give it a good haircut. But yeah, check it out, guys. See? Isn't that awesome? It's really, really turning out really beautiful. I, I love the feel of it. Like, I could just look at it for hours. Good morning. All right, let's go pee. Come on, let's go pee. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? Yes. Descend, descend from the treetops, my dragon, and feast, feast on these souls, destroy. So guys, how are all of you doing this morning, or today, rather? Here, same old. <laughs> Pet life, you know what I'm saying? And now coffee. Love coffee in the mornings. Thank you, Amare La Cucina, for this coffee. Oh, by the way, I asked Edmark where he gets his coffee beans for the Amare blend. And apparently it's from the mountains. It's from like Benguet somewhere. Um, or Baguio, which is cool. That's great. Love this. Mm. So I have a current problem with Cypher and it's this. So he's been amazing with potty training as you guys have seen right in the mornings Every time he needs to go to the bathroom he pees and poos on the puppy pad. That's perfect However last night he had a couple accidents I'm not sure if they're accidents and here's why so he always goes to the puppy pad. We praise him It's all great and then randomly we'll see a puddle somewhere where I've never seen him pee before and at first I thought it was the location of the puppy pad box which used to be there because he would pee in that area we've removed it now uh, put it in the bathroom and that's worked he hasn't peed there anymore but then I noticed he peed for example near the door I caught I caught him I'm like no and I scooped him up put him on the puppy pad he had two or three accidents and I'm not sure if they're accidents and here's why I would notice a change in Cypher's behavior and his demeanor he would have his ears back and be like licking his lips and if you guys know dogs that is like super submissive behavior right and I'm like oh uh oh he did something bad and it's funny it's cute but I know I should be stern he keeps going back to the place of his accident he keeps going back and then coming back to me and then as if it's like oh uh oh don't come here don't come here I made a mistake and then I'll find his like little puddle of pee and I'll wipe it up with vinegar and whatever but it's really interesting to see that cypher first of all is showing like guilt like, OMG, I shouldn't have peed here. I know it's wrong, so he knows it's wrong. So I don't think these are accidents. What do you guys think? He's probably scent marking, isn't he? Um, he's also learned to lift his leg to pee. <laughs> over in the bathroom. Um, so I think he's reaching that age now where he's trying to scent Mark and I'm just gonna have to keep trying to call his attention uh, while he does it. Do you guys have any dogs that started to scent Mark and how did you guys stop it from continuing? I am considering to neuter uh, Cypher when he's at the appropriate age. Maybe that might make it go away. But yeah, so Cypher is potty trained. He knows where to go, but he will like, I don't know, like sneak a pee somewhere and then feel really bad about it. And then I'll be like, Cypher, what did you do in that voice? And he will be like, so like, oh my god, no, I'm so sorry. It's so heartbreaking, but I'm hoping this like scent marking, if that's what it is, eventually goes away. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Most of his accidents actually happen in the night. I don't know if that sheds any light, if any of you guys have experienced this when raising puppies or maybe with your dogs, even at adulthood. Let me know what you guys think. So guys, I'm gonna really start to pay attention attention to portion sizes. Apparently Cypher is supposed to eat half a cup um, every day of food. So that means this quarter cup should be full for the two meals that he gets in the day. So this is his breakfast. I'm also leaving a bit of room for the solid kibble, but that's basically the amount. It doesn't look like very much, but now I'm going to continue to use this uh, to measure his portions just so I don't overfeed him. You know what I mean? And there he is being a good boy, pooing on the puppy. Puppy pad. Yay! Yes, breakfast! That is a quarter cup of food. Go feast, my werewolf feast. It's also warm, I heated it. Guys, check this out. Remember how Cypher was totally afraid of a paper towel roll? Look at this. 
No more fear. You see, if you have a fearful dog, you could totally convert him. <laughs> In fact, he's taking it to his bed now. All right, guys, positive affirmation for Tuesday, July the 14th. I now do work that I love and I am well paid for it. Yes, isn't that the dream? Doing work that you love and getting paid a lot for it. There you guys go. Say this, feel it, feel gratitude, feel as if it's true and it will happen. There you go, guys. So guys, let me tell you, Cypher is loving his antler. Last night, he was chewing on this for a good hour. I had no idea this was a thing, these antlers, but I'm liking what I see so far. I mean, if he's chewing on this, it means he's not chewing on my other stuff, like my furniture and like cables. So yeah, it's actually interesting and it's doing its job. Enjoy my werewolf non your antler. You beast. Okay guys, so now that it's daytime, I can actually show you what I was talking about with the jet stream of bubbles. See all those bubbles being blown this way? That's all carbon dioxide and that's nourishing the plants, helping with photosynthesis and it's causing the plants to really, really pearl now. I also love the fact that this new current is stronger because of the new filter. And a lot of my fish are loving this current. Like, see, look at my rainbows. My dwarf rainbow fish, they love swimming through this fast current. And so do my uh, Siamese algae eaters. But yeah, it's really great. And then there are slower areas of the aquarium too, where the angel fish hang out, like here, way down here. It just, I love the way the tank is now. Sorry about the reflection. If you guys could see what I see, it looks pretty awesome. All right, guys. So today, RJ and I have the evening off. Yes, we actually have a free night. And so I am preparing sangria. Mm -hmm. Can't all just be work, work, work and pets. Let loose a little. Are you kids out there? This is how like us older people have fun. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I make sangria. First of all, you need a glass pitcher, preferably glass pitcher because I just pulled out the plastic pitcher that I usually make sangria in and it has all of these weird like deep scratches but I think it's just because the acid in the sangria is like wearing away at the plastic in some weird way very disturbing and disturbing that we're drinking it too. Uh, but anyway so you need a glass pitcher this glass pitcher RJ bought from online comes with a lid he bought it specifically for our sangria night okay and the next thing you need is some red wine this here is Carlo Rosa Cabernet Sauvignon. Um, however, I usually just use a brand like Yellowtail, anything like that. But any red wine, us, we like cheap red wine, so that'll do. Let's open it. Yes. Any of you wine drinkers out there? Okay. Let's make the sangria. Now I first, I guess, learned to drink sangria in Montreal, Canada, when I was living there. Just a background, or I moved to Montreal from Toronto because I needed to escape. Those were my late or mid to late twenties when I was kind of still finding myself. And also I had kind of given up on show business. That's another story. But yeah, so I had lots of friends in Montreal. And as you know, Montrealers, they like to let loose, have fun. So every time after work, um, we would just have sangria on a patio till the sun went down so like that was just it i loved it um and then i learned how to make it myself and my friends and i would just have sangria homemade sangria okay so great memories with sangria i'm sure you guys at home who haven't tried sangria who will start drinking sangria will also make great memories <laughs> drinking sangria because it's so good okay so you need to just empty your wine into a pitcher you want to add ice i don't have ice so what i do is i just stick this in the fridge and it's nice and cold and then in the end you'll put the sangria in the fridge anyways um okay and then next you add some kind of bubbly now you can add soda water which is just bubbly water um you can add sprite if you want it really sweet rj and i we prefer using tonic water which is slightly sweet it's like lemonish we just like the taste of it so Add that in and we got to do the Canadian pour. You don't want to make it flat. You want all the bubbles in there. That's what gives that awesome, awesome feeling when you when you drink it. Tonic water, Schweppes. You don't want to lose the bubbles. Yes. Awesome. I could actually get one more. I would love to make a huge tower of sangria. All right. So now I've got that mixed. And then what you need are fruits. Usually we used to do it with just citrus. So this here is like a green lemon that is rotting. So <laughs> might as well use it. Just stick it in there. You just cut like slices like so like this. I just put everything in. Peel, seeds and all. Mm -hmm. It just gives it that flavor that 
You could get creative, maybe put banana in it. Well, I don't know, whatever you guys want, raspberries, strawberries. But I usually use citrus. And then if you eat the citrus after, apparently you get drunk. So I've got orange here. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Gorgeous. I stick one more because I don't think this can fit now. My other pitcher is much bigger than this one. I can create more, but this one I think is limited. I'm pushing it to the limit now. I think I might have to sip it. Ah. Oh, so good guys, okay. And then you just let this sit and like simmer in the fridge, like so. And that's it, put it in the fridge. And then when you're ready, you pour it into some glasses, preferably chilled glasses, and it's delicious. Let's put it away. Great memories in a glass pitcher. <laughs> Wow guys, you need to hear this thunder and lightning. So, it's typhoon season here in the Philippines now, now that it's July. And literally the thunder, the tropical thunder, sounds like a bomb. Seriously. Do you hear that? Like my condo shakes sometimes. It is so loud. Wow, I am glad I'm not out there right now. It's like thick tropical rain. Like, yeah, we have thunderstorms in Toronto, Canada as well, but I never really truly experienced thunder, the fury of thunder, till I came here. <laughs> it's actually very relaxing. And they also say that lightning produces negative ions, which help people feel good, apparently. Cypher is okay, he's just waking up from a nap. Doesn't seem stressed by the storm at all. Ligaya also not stressed, happy about this. It's just quite loud. So guys, Ligaya and I are here sharing a banana, we're bonding. Mmm, are you done with the banana? Would you like to try orange for the first time in your life? <laughs> banana? No. She's looking over the edge at Cypher. At Cypher! <laughs> She's like, I'm gonna explore what's on the table right now. Cypher, shh. She will come meet you when she wants. And if she wants. <laughs> Cypher, shh. No. No. She's like, I want to be up there with you guys. She's checking out the positive affirmation calendar. Just hanging out. I love how curious she is. Snacking on some banana peel. Yes. This is her favorite treat. It's been a while. Yes. Very good, the guys. Would you like to try an orange? I have a little bit of orange left from my sangria. Would you like to try it? Here. She's like, oh heck no, that looks weird. There's Cypher trying to get your attention again. How about cardamom? You like cardamom? Yeah, here, go ahead. You don't need to hide behind the sip. Cardamom. Yes. Mmm, you love cardamom. There's more here. This is what the cardamom bag looks like. He's like, I want the whole bag. <laughs> yes, the guy, yeah. Oh, good boy, Cypher. He peed in the right spot. OMG Mabuhay Squad, wow, RJ is seriously a genius at this, Mabuhay Squad, as you know RJ is like master at like cooking and table placement, take a look at what he's prepared. <laughs> 